Okay, so we have a solo probe three two eight here. Um, canopy has been removed already. What I'm going to do is show you how to do two things on this heli uh, that will help you fly it better. First thing, as you can see, my fly bar here is modified. Uh, it's got added weight to the end of it. Problem with this: when you add weight to it, it may cause uh, fly bar stri strikes. So you have to be careful that don't add too much weight and you may have to modify your tail boom as I did here to to create more clearance anyways I'm going to show you first how to an easy way to add weight to your fly bar all you're going to need is a little bit of lead wire and some glue whether some crazy glue or some epoxy so what you do is very simple Take some of this lead wire here, Let's bring that out of there, and then you go to your fly bar. This is a spare fly bar I'm showing you here, and then you just go like this and you start wrapping it up around the side of it nice and tight. You need to go nice and tight. You can see now it's wrapping around it, and you keep wrapping this thing all the way to about halfway onto the fly bar weight. You do not want to go to the end of the fly bar weight because it will enlarge the fly bar weight and reduce clearance and then make it more likely to strike. So about this far. And now you take scissors, cut that off. There you go, is your fly bar weight. It's your fly bar heavier. And then what you need to do from there is very easy. Use a bit of glue at the end and at the beginning so that to make sure that this won't you know coil out uh, under a centrifugal sense like g-force when it's spinning really fast so a little bit of glue here a little bit of glue there and you're done uh, as you can see much heavier on one side now now you want to do that on both sides and of course let me take that off now you want the fly bar to be balanced easy way to balance the fly bar is you take something with a big enough pin like a screwdriver like this put that through your fly bar and you put that on the edge of a table like such now if you just put it like this at the edge of a table um, and there's a slight imbalance in it you won't see it because there's friction where the pin goes through the fly bar so what you want to do is actually shake it a little bit like this and if there's an imbalance that's when it will show and what the heavy side will go down now this is a stock fly bar unmodified as you can see I wiggle it and it stays nice and balanced it's not going down on either way so that's basically what a balanced fly bar looks like so what you do is you again put the lead on one side once you've got enough of it uh, you glue it on you're done with that side and you're going to work on the other side to balance it so I would go and put it maybe a little bit more on that side and chop off a little bit at a time until you get the thing balanced and then a bit of glue on there and you're done so that's how to modify your fly bar to make it heavier the second thing I will show you is how to change the center of gravity on the heli uh, first make sure the battery is inserted because the battery is weight and so without the battery you don't get a good idea of your center of gravity good way to check your center of gravity is to turn your fly bar like this, this way, hold it by the fly bar and lift it up. The skids should be parallel to the table if, it's, if the center of gravity is even. Right now you'll see that it's a little bit back. I go down, it's just a tiny little bit back. Now I've already added weight to this to make up for the heavier tail boom. And What I'm going to do today is show you how to add more, essentially to throw the center of gravity to the front which will basically help the helicopter move faster outside and cut through wind that sort of thing so what you need for this first is just a little bit of velcro like this All right now you need to take one piece I'll do that right now it's a sticky velcro and you need to add that, is, add that right here on top of the battery it, not the battery itself but on top of the battery mount there you go now I have a piece of metal here which I put there already on your heli you're not going to see that what you're going to see is a plastic frame 
but same idea you put your velcro on top of the plastic frame and now you're ready to add weight to this now if we look on the table here I got different things a bolt uh, some nuts of different sizes the good thing about this is you're not using glue you're using velcro so you can test different weights until you get the weight that you like you can actually put it on try the LE fly it see how it works what I'm going to do myself today is I'm going to add some brass I want to go a bit aggressive with this I'm going to take a piece of brass here it's quite heavy and I'm going to put that on there on the velcro as such very easy and then I put that on my velcro here as far forward as I can and there you go uh, this is not going to move from there now it's stuck with the stuck on there with velcro and if I want to take it off there you go I take it off and I can try something else so here it is now let's test my center of gravity with this as you can see now the LED tip forward if I go down towards the table the front of the scales will touch the table first and you don't need much you just need it to, to, to be tipped forward a little bit and that's going to be enough to give you more forward speed and of course the heavier you go the more forward speed you're going to get now with this on there of course you're going to have to trim your elevator back if you want to be able to hover with the LED the LED will not hover still it will automatically want to go forward because it's tipped forward and it's going to want to go forward now what you do is you trim it back until the basically the servos will make up for the difference in, for the, the you could say the imbalance in center of gravity and you'll be able to hover again if you can't hover uh, that's probably because you put too much weight on there but you can go into sub trim on the LE and go back even more to add more trim uh, until you will hover steady now what this will do of course when you trim it back you are not losing forward speed because it's not changing your end point adjustment meaning your servo will still move to the full extent of its travel when you want to go forward so essentially trimming will only affect the hover and also if you trim it back too far you're reducing backward motion servo so you're basically going to trade backward motion for more forward motion and of course the heavier you put the more trimming you'll have to do and the more backward speed you will lose but the more forward speed you will gain so again I would recommend doing the fly bar first get some more weight on there once you've got the fly bar nicely balanced install the fly bar back and then put some extra weight on top of your battery here to change the center of gravity and then go fly that outside and you're going to have a lot more forward speed that's all for today thank you